What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. Hey, Josiah, do you do track? Yeah, I do throwing. That's sick. I throw it too. And let me tell you, it's a lot of fun. All students interested in joining the CO track team, make sure to email Coach Taylor. Athletes must have a sports physical completed in all paperwork at athleticsclearance.com, the website, in order to start practicing. It's Wednesday, so let's pass it on, on over to John for sports. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. This week we have some baseball, football, and basketball for you, so let's jump on into it. Our Christmas Oaks baseball team had a great win over Ponderosa High School. They won 3-2 in seven innings with a great outing by Stephen Brooks, Cal Poly signee, and overall a great win over the ranked 12th best team in the area. Way to go, boys. Over in football, will Aaron Rodgers stay with the Packers? Well, David Sampson, who is the former president of the Miami Marlins of Major League Baseball and now podcaster for CBS Sports, in his podcast, Nothing Personal with David Sampson, he discusses Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, and in his eyes, he believes in the next couple of years, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers will part ways. And lastly, in basketball, unfortunately, Grand Canyon University player Oscar Freyer died in a car crash. His death comes just days after the team played in the NCAA tournament. He was a redshirt senior forward who helped the Lopes reach their 17-7 and record to finish the season. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your weekly sports update. Thanks, John. Hey, Wolfpack, starting next week, there will be a new Bell schedule. Make note of this schedule listed here. All concurrent model students and 11th and 12th grade students, distance learning and concurrent model, need to have a school-issued Chromebook. Chromebooks will be available to check out this week, March 22nd, during textbook distribution. Attention soccer players, trials for the JV and varsity boys soccer teams will be March 29th through 31st at 5.37 p.m. in the stadium. Trials for the JV and varsity girls soccer team will be held March 30th, April 1st, and April 6th from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. in the stadium. Hey, Josiah, have you heard about the Australia floods? No, really? Tell me about it. Yeah, it's super unfortunate. Here's Milani with more information. Australia is currently experiencing one of the worst floods in decades, with 40% of the population under severe weather warning. With Australia already being known for their spiders and snakes, animals and insects are now swarming Australian homes as they flee the record floods. So far, 40,000 people have been evacuated with two casualties. The two men were recovered from flooded vehicles, one of whom lost contact with an emergency operator after he'd been on the line for 44 minutes. These floods were caused by extreme downpours, which are the result of global warming. As more water vapor rises into the atmosphere, the likelihood of heavy precipitation increases. And in one area of North Brisbane, more than 20 inches of rain fell in a single day. Similarly, part of New South Wales has already exceeded the average autumn rainfall less than a month into the season. So even though the rain has stopped for the first time in days, water levels remain dangerously high. Thanks, Milani. Hey, students, are you interested in joining the Student Equity Council or participating in a meeting? He emailed Ms. Munson to join the Remind Group. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Wolf Pack.